All right, lastly, in this section, I want to talk to you about referencing variables. And this is a common form of confusion for a lot of people, is that let's first, we're going to store a variable, so let's just call it var, and we're going to store it with the colon equals, and um, let's say hello world is the value we're going to push into that variable var, V-A-R. So right now, I've stored that into var. Um, now, if I wanted to see that, like I showed you one earlier, I can save this. Actually, I'd have to um, do a message box with var, and let's run it. And oh, look at that! So, I silly me. That's funny. I um, I just did a, a, a silly mistake here. I pushed up the text var, and um, so there's two ways that you can reference variables. One is to wrap the variable in percent signs like this. So when I now when I run it, it is going to push in instead of the text var, it pushes in the value that's in that variable, right? So now we did that successfully. There's another way though, which is the way I typically use because just for me, it's a little cleaner to look at it. Um, it's a little more confusing, but you put a percent sign after the end of your, like your command or inside your function, and then everything to the right of it is an expression. And so in this case, um, when I save it and run it, notice there's a space in between the percent sign and var. So it does the same thing, right? If we wanted to have hello world, let's say, how are you after this, then we have to put quotes because we're inside of an expression. So, and of course I'd want a space in here, right? Because otherwise it puts it right next to it. So I'm going to run this again. And hello world, how are you, right? And that worked. So that's one way to do it. And I could have done it the same thing, this is an equivalent, and both are correct, so don't worry as far as which one is quote unquote right and wrong. Um, this is gonna do the same thing, because in this line here, I'm, I'm referencing it with the 2% signs, so the message box stays the normal way it is, and this is gonna be text. So when I run this the first time, we're gonna see the first version. So that's the first one, and now they came up with the second one. So they're identical. Um, I tend to find, especially when I have several variables, uh, in it that this one is easier for me to read and to write uh, because often I'll have a lot of variables that I'm trying to reference and just a little bit of text. So this is what you're going to see me for the most part almost always doing, not quite always, but close to it. And uh, I just want to clarify because a lot of people get confused. And then there is a little bit of confusion of inside a command and the function, when do you use percent signs or not? And we're just going to tackle those as we go. But I wanted to make it really clear up front because you'll see different things on the forum side if you go to the AutoHotKey forum, which is a great reference, uh, or on Stack Overflow of how people use them. Both of them are correct. Just make sure you understand they're both really doing the same thing. There's just two different approaches for it. It's one of the critiques of people for AutoHotKey is Python is great about they make one way to do things and it does simplify over time how you do it. But of course, it means everyone has to do things the same way, but it does make it easier where you, when you start reading the code, everyone understands it because it's just the one way to do it. All right. Cheers.